Yeah, I just wanted to reminisce with you a little bit, good brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that uh that love for hip hop, man, that 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 um that when we fall in love moment. Mine goes back to actually um Roxanne, Roxanne, UTFO, but actually oh. practicing hip hop, um, actively participating in it and creating um came with with some graffiti in my my early days and and it was just a lifestyle man it was like like everything man hip hop is so much more than rap you know what i'm saying right <laughs> so you was out there attacking yeah so the um one 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 of the things that irks me about um la hip hop is when it's um recapped is that it always starts with like this nwa like somehow that is is when L.A. rap started. L.A. had had several scenes, you know what I'm saying, dating back to the 70s um, with pop locking and popping and and um and just like a really electronic sound. Just just finding itself evolving a party scene and um that that that's to be researched. But that that's not what I'm reminiscing about right this moment. My my my, my reminiscing is going back to the Good Life Cafe. They had an open mic. It was literally a health food store um, that so, that sold like like back then. It was hella hella revolutionary, like vegetarian items and. So it was the Trader Joe's and, and the Whole Foods before. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely you know, and it was black owned, so it was it was dope. Okay. Um. So there's one elder, uh, B Hall. It is a good documentary on it. Um, just to give those those people credit, this is simply me reminiscing. Uh, the, the documentary is a uh, "This Is the Life," so I'm sure you can find that um, somewhere. Hopefully, order it and buy it. You know, I'm so I'm, I'm sure they uh, they deserve um, every coin. You know. Yeah. But um, B Hall was this uh, was this elder who who opened the Thursday night open mic. And um, and I had been hearing about it, just like you know, oh, you know, we we going up here, and it it, it started kind of relatively early. I think it was like seven and seven p.m. and like nine nine p.m. or something. And it was like, oh, we going to the good life, good life, you know. But but in L.A., there's there's boundaries, you know what I'm saying. So you you got to figure out where you're going, why you're going, you know, when you're going. Even if you didn't bang, you had to be mindful, you know right. what I'm saying, of of. of where you was at. Yeah, where you was at, why you was at, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this this kept, this kept coming up, like, in conversation, you know, just, you know, hey, the good life is, is a place that, you know, where where hip-hop is being made, like, you know, um, where all the elements are, 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 are coming together. So you had, like, graffiti artists, you know what I'm saying, out piecing and um, uh, tagging in each other's black books and, you had mix mixtapes being sold. You know what I mean? Like yeah. real economy taking place. Um, and then inside, you had the MCs actually working on their craft, and it was something. It was something to experience, my man, on, on multiple levels. To um, to see the energy that that was that 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 was packed into this room, real real hip hop heads, like people that like wouldn't wouldn't give you an opportunity to just be okay on the mic. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they had to please pass the mic rule. And if you started, uh, not, not sounding good, you know, Did they yanked you. Yeah. They literally just was like, so it was like the Apollo for comedians. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it's like, please pass the mic, please pass the mic. You know what I'm saying? So we we would chant that if if you weren't performing up to par. So what it did was that that pressure cooker created this talent. I mean, I think like some 20 acts were signed out um, out of this particular situation. This is like early 90s. So that's a big deal when signing was still a big deal. You know, so you had people like um, Freestyle Fellowship came out of there. Um, Volume 10, you know what I mean? Um Pistol grip pump on my lap at all times. Like these was the you know these are the crossover commercial situations. Ahmad back in the day when yeah oh, that was so, good. Yeah yeah figures of speech ski low. Um, if I was a little bit taller, you know that was good too. Yeah yeah OMD, um um abstract uh what was that abstract 
tribe unique or some abstract rude tribe unique. Um, just just everybody. Um, Menace Clan. Um, I remember I was there for a live show. Man, these cats was. Um, oh man, it was incredible. I think it was when OJ first was. Um, just first got arrested the first time for those murders. Okay. And uh, they 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 really lit the lit the room on fire with with like this um this freestyle talking about like uh D E V I L D E V I L drive by shoot liquor store loot so I I don't know if I, that might have been right after um that ninety two uh ninety two rebellion I mean they they some call it oh, riots. The riots yeah the LA riots <laughs> yes. yeah I so those too vividly exactly so. Um, you know, um, Far Side was out of there. C, um, CVE was another group. Um, you know, just 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 talent, my man. Like like one one thing that I wish that we had an understanding of, which I think decades later or later, I'm not sure when Master P uh, figured his math out, but had had they moved as a unit, like Wu Tang, even had they like went to sign as a collective, I think they would have fared better. And this is all outside speculation, and, and definitely they can, all this information can be corrected and verified for those that um, actually were uh, pushing the culture as MCs, because they definitely were the focus at the Good Life Cafe, Open Mic Thursdays. They they were it, but it just seems like um, had had we had um, more Garvey about ourselves, if we had more um, a better understanding of of, of, of some ujamaa, some some some, some co- cooperative economics. We we could have probably moved to 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 secure um, more resources for the talent. I think that they got isolated, you know, because it's been said like um, Easy had been floating around. This is all hearsay. Had been floating mm-hmm. around wanting to sign some of the acts, and um, didn't quite sign any of the acts, from my knowledge. Mm. But stole the style. So you'll catch, if you listen to some early uh, Freestyle Fellowship, some CVE, you'll hear this, the, the, like the Bone Thugs and Harmony, you know. Um, like the rhyme scheme? Yeah, man. So you can just imagine the success or the popularity. I don't know if those guys got paid properly because it, um, <laughs> it still was 90s hip-hop. Um, but the popularity they got for a style that 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 l a underground l a hip hop underground it felt that they created they they fathered and fostered this sound just to be uh, ripped off you know um content obviously was different you know what i'm saying um uh they they had all types of cats coming out of that you know uh that that spoke on a variety of things ganja k was was definitely dealing with a <laughs> weed culture way back then. So it wasn't all just gangster yeah, rap. Yeah, exactly. And vo- and volume volume ten was was definitely a gangster rapper. Like which is which is interesting because he's um he just had style. Like it was just style. You know, RBX was affiliated as well. Um, he ended up getting some um, extra exposure with the Chronic album, the first Chronic album. But my 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 point is that had they moved as a unit like if everybody was under like b hall's management like under contract with her and then they were collectively getting legal representation and moved as a unit then probably you know i'm saying um they they would have produced more like as far as um commercial product right you know because i mean cats went on to, to eat lovely i mean ac alone is out of freestyle fellowship and his career expanded um, decades at this point. You know what I'm saying? And skill level is still on point all as well. Abstract Rude definitely went on to be an amazing um, talent and producing. I'm sure he got an album out right now that's brand new. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like these cats still work. But you're saying they probably would have produced more mainstream. Yeah, they would have. They would have cornered. A market, a market, and they they could have similar to now where these cats, you know, it needs to be labeled as trap music or something complementary to what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and we market it, neo soul, same thing. If we controlled the term neo soul at that time, instead of fighting it, if we just controlled it, then I think those careers that would was categorized as um, neo soul would have lasted longer as well. You feel me? So it's just yeah. a matter of us controlling. Our our um our contact uh, our con our con our content and how it's received. You feel me? That's that's th- those are power moves, and unfortunately, a lot of creatives move 
like um, employees. They don't they don't move like bosses, for lack of a better term. So that was that was definitely a um, was that a trust thing or um, people like to move independently or I mean I'm I'm sure it's an information an informational thing as well. Like like we didn't know like we can collective bargain. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. we, we all got to come with nobody at all. Like what's up? <laughs> you feel me? Like we yeah. did, like that. We that's how corporate corporations move. Like we always think like oh like I said we get an employee in, 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 in employee mode, and then we almost give the leverage away. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Because ultimately we do want to work at our art for a living. Like that is definitely a goal. You you don't want to have to maintain some job. And then do the job of being an artist. You know what I'm saying? After you get off work. Like, you feel me? You want the work to be the work, and you want that to be um, art. Yeah. So if somebody's saying, hey, we can cut you a check, then it's going to sound like, ooh, what do I have to do? And unfortunately, it seemed like a lot of them had to get robbed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. (laughs) You know, and I don't know if I mentioned Sin, but Medusa came out of um, Sin, Strength in Numbers. And Medusa is... um, it was a phenomenal uh, MC, like held held a decade down in regards to just like her her live performances is just everything you need in life. You know what I'm saying? Okay. If if anybody has ever witnessed it live, they they witnessed something uh, phenomenal. She's been credited with um with having conversations with um the cat that had uh, discovered Erica Badu. Um, I forget his name right now, Kidar. Had had conversations with him and 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 hearsay. This is all just hearsay. That um, you know that 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 basically she jacked jacked the style that early um, early Badu style with the with the with the turban and yeah and the goddess gowns and got what so they all came from Medusa. Yeah, and Medusa was doing this as an MC, a real lyricist too. This is like this is verifiable information. Like this, Medusa is the fucking truth. Okay, and um. So all this talent was there, and then ultimately, um, the Good Life crowd, since it closed at nine, they ended up walking down the street. You know what I'm saying, or catching the bus or driving or whatnot to Project Blow. You know what I'm saying, which is which is another um, outlet for for LA uh, underground hip hop. That that we need more shine on this, man. It's not just NWA. You feel me? Yeah. Like it's it's more to this story, man. It's more to this story. Know that. Geeks and goons.